welcome to this review of the newly released Kato HO Scale Viewliner baggage cars. These models have just been released with the first models arriving at Lombard Hobbies on Friday, April 15th, 2022. Before we get started with the review and unboxing, let's take a look at the history of these cars. Amtrak's fleet of Uliner 2 passenger cars were in production from 2012 up until 2021, with the baggage cars first appearing around 2015. Since arrival of the Uliner 2s, these cars have replaced the Amtrak Heritage fleet, with many of those cars dating back to the early 1970s. Now let's take a look at the HO scale rendition of this baggage car. Alright, so let's take a look at this brand new released baggage car. Typical Kato boxing, slide off the top, a little bit of bubble wrap, and then there's your car. Nice little spot where the couplers are to pull the car out. There's the roof, there's some of that, get that out of the way for now. There is a pack of separately applied details for you to install if you'd like. Lots of different handrails for around the car. Otherwise, you should just be able to run them as is. Also included in the box is a single page double sided manual. This manual gives instructions on how to replace the couplers, install the taillight PCB and decoder, how to remove the shell for installation of interior lighting, and how to install the handrails. Now let's get a close up of this new car. Now that we've got the car down on the track, let's talk about the different parts of the car. As you can see, it comes in the Phase 3 paint scheme with the Amtrak America Travel Mark roughly centered in the middle of the car. The car comes equipped with metal wheels and plastic couplers. The coupler assembly allows the car to negotiate an 18-inch radius curve with no problems at all. Each car is equipped with a hard plastic diaphragm on either end, alongside molded plastic handrails, and the options of adding a few grab irons from the detail bag. On the sides of the car, we can see the Phase 3 striping with the car number and type printed clearly on the side. On the door, we have some very, very small labels. The door handle information is legible under magnification or with a camera, and the door warning label is not possible to make out. Roof details are on par with Kato's previous releases. A very fine detailed fluting with no injection molding flash left anywhere on the model. The roof is a little bit darker gray compared to the body of the car, and overall there's a very nice metallic finish. Underbody detail is relatively minimal, with the bulk of the car being a smooth plastic with a few lines throughout. Truck details are molded in with plastic other than the moving roller bearing caps. It's a small feature, but it looks great when you're close up to the car. The car weighs in at just around 5 ounces, about an ounce and a half short from meeting the NMRA weight guidelines. Coupler height is perfect on both sides of the car. All wheel sets are within the NMRA specifications, and these results are consistent between both models I purchased. Now let's compare the Viewliner 2 baggage car to a few other cars and see how they compare. Here we have a Kato Superliner alongside the baggage car. The finish is very similar, but the Superliner seems a little bit brighter than the Viewliner. Coupler height is very close with the Superliner being ever so slightly lower. Now putting the baggage car next to the latest run of Walther's Horizon cars, we can see the coupler height is very similar to the Superliner, with the Horizon being a little bit lower. The separately applied details took me roughly an hour to apply to the model. The parts inside the red rectangle now were all added with the detail pack. Comparing the before and after, it really does make quite a difference what a little bit of work can do. The MSRP of $87 is a bit higher than I'd personally pay for the model, but for the $60 per car I paid, I am quite happy with the purchase. Overall, this car is a great addition to any modern layout, with everything but weight being NMRA requirements, a great set of details, good operating performance, and solid build quality. I would definitely recommend this to any Amtrak fan or people modeling modern day America. Thank you for watching this review of Kato's brand new Viewliner 2 baggage car.